Hello everyone, this is Raglan, coming from Next Generation Landscaping. Today, I'm coming to you with my 2021 lawn care setup. Yep, the 2021 lawn care setup. Do me a favor before we get into the video. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up for me and leave a comment. All feedback is good feedback in my opinion. If you're just getting started in business, if you don't have the money for storage unit, if you live in an apartment complex and you're skeptical about all your tools being all over the place. This may be the perfect setup for you. Stay tuned. Hello. I choose this lawn care setup because this is best for what's suited for me. Um, sometimes in the evenings, I'm tired. Sometimes in the evenings, you know, I don't feel like unloading. Sometimes I, you know, just want to go home and just go in the house. So with this being said, uh, let me show you uh, my, my lawn care setup. That's efficient for me and, you know, my guys or however it may be. Hold on, let me show you. So this is what I use. I got a 2009 E250 van, cargo edition. I got, you know, my my uh, my racks. So I got a shovel. I got two rakes, broom, iron rake. I always keep those on there because you never know what may happen. Uh, I got my gas cans on the back. Uh, my mixed and my regular. Uh, I got a Viking. I got a 48 inch uh, X Mark Viking. Uh, it's a little old, but it gets the job done for me. Um, it only has. Let me see. Uh, can you see that? I think nine, nine hundred, nine hundred and seventeen hours. Let me see. Uh, let me go over here and see. Get up on this trail. Yeah. So yeah, it has yeah nine seventeen on there. So you know that 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 does well for me. Um, I got to get the knob for the air filter case, but you know it's all it's all it's all gravy. All right. So I got the Velky that go with it that fits on the back of the 48 uh right there up in there so it fits on the back of there and i can uh use the velky for it i got a 36 uh metro uh x mark metro that i use um this is good for me when i got big open fields uh some bigger properties that i got i'll go ahead and use the 48 you know when i got some of those fenced in places that I got, I'll go ahead and use the 36. Um, so this is this is really good and efficient for me and the type of business that I do. So I'll do, you know, I know most people say they do 20, 30 yards a day, this and that have may be, but you know, I'll I'll do at the max probably like 15 houses uh a day, uh just to you know keep myself going and things of that nature. Uh route density is key though. Uh, to getting all that stuff done. But um, let me show you on the inside. So on this trailer right here, I got my tire, my spare tire that's hooked up to the back of the uh, trailer. The trailer is an eight by 12. Uh, good enough for me uh, to get things done with. Um, it's enough space if I got a whole brush and this one, yeah, I got a bag of mulch on there. I had a mulch job I had to do. Um, but I'm gonna do another video on mulch because you know I see a lot of people say they like um the loose mulch, uh bulk mulch, but I prefer bag. Um let me show you on the inside. Here I got my racks set up along the wall. So you know I got the FS. 91R, the, the 90, and I got my uh, Echo 225 uh, pruning shears, uh, the extended version. Uh, PB80 10, this thing ain't nothing but the truth here. And I got two 755s uh, over there. Um, I got some 580s. I got maybe like two 580s uh, uh, back in my house. Uh, I got the HHR Honda mower. And I got another HHR Honda mower that's um, uh, at my house in the shed too. 
got the new HC 2020 Echo Pruning Shears. Uh, said I was going to do a video on that, the HC 2020. And I got another pair down here that I just got out the shop. I just had those blades uh, sharpened and serviced up. So it gets it gets the job done. Um, and it keeps all of my tools out of the weather. All of my tools out of the weather. And when I come, all I do is just hit this latch right here. Flip it down, lift it up, take it off, keep it going. So now on this side, if you're coming in on this side, you'll open everything up. And this is basically what you'll see. I got my spreader here. As you can see, we had a little seeding we had to do. We've got a couple tarps over there, limo bag hanging up over here. Uh, cones. Them cones are a lifesaver when you're on those streets. And got to take them out, you know, set them out, however it may be. Uh, string trimmer, just a little makeshift string trimmer rack that I got right here uh, spades on the side I uh, got my big cutter loppers over there so you know but it's you know all set up but on my string trimmer uh, rack uh, I got a friend of mine that's going to um, redesign my trimmer track uh, my uh, trimmer uh, uh, rack uh, so it'll be a little bit more sturdy but it is sturdy you know i'm putting it on there but thinking about going with steel you know see it is sturdy it ain't it ain't going nowhere at all you know but um he will make shift uh that for me and i was thinking about on this side um putting something on this side uh for my blowers and then up here I think I'm gonna eventually get the rack off of the trail and put my rakes and stuff up top uh, in the little hooks up there. Um, just something to keep my tools out of the weather. And then, you know, when I come in in the evenings, I can, you know, just back in, lock everything up, cover my lawnmowers up, and I'm good to go. Uh, just got this little plate right here. I got, you know, some tools up in here, like, you know, some, Vice grips, a little hammer, uh, scissors, snips, screwdrivers, um, yeah, screwdrivers, everything else in between down there. Here, here I got, you know, another rack down here where I got, you know, bee spray. Because you can't be too careful with them bees. Some little WD-40, carburetor cleaner, starter fluid stuff like that because you, you know when you're on the go you're gonna need all of that stuff right so i shut this door and then i come on this side you know so everything is just clear here you know i sit up here everything's clear out the way we got the cage right here so we'll be you know separated from all the tools and stuff but you know if you all decide to get a van you know you may want to take it down or however it may be but and this right here oh and these right here are a lifesaver right here these locks right here you know when i finish on my last job i'll come in throw these on there boom and that's it then everything is just locked up so these masters are really good let me go on the other side yeah so um yeah so then i got you know you know my gloves here I always keep my gloves right here, trusty and handy. Uh, take everything off. In this crate, you know, I just keep the essentials, you know, oil, you know, two cycle oil, you know, lawnmower oil, you know, a good funnel, spare parts, you know, uh, Honda filters, spot plugs, you know, little, you never know, you may lose, you know, knobs for the echo filter a few filters stuff like that uh keep you know extra weedy the heads in here to keep that going and right here just a good old you know air pump you know it's just the air pump just to with, with the light so i can hook the light up and it'll just be blinking just in case it's 
you know, nighttime outside or however it may be. But this is just an air compressor just in case my tires get low or something like that. I can do it. I like this. This is real good. Um, but I think I'm going to go with battery operated uh, battery pack because um, if I'm in the yard or something like that, I can literally um, uh, take the, you know, the air compressor to it or have it may be, but this one has to be hooked up to the, you know, to the uh, lighter switch or have it may be. All right. So, um, but it has the on and off button right here. Uh, you put the, you can put the lighter switch here. Make sure everything's charged up. And everything's good to go. Yeah, so then I'll, you know, I'll just put everything back down in here. To make sure everything is down in here nice and proper. You know, keeping everything intact. You know, so, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, basically, uh, and then, you know, I always keep my safety glasses up here and little cords I, you know, may need or something like that. Um, and then back here, look, this will always keep a sweatshirt shirt in here just in case, you know, customer wants some eyes, some ground cover or something pull then once i lift the seat up i go behind the seat i've got my toolbox behind the seat right here behind the seat put it back and then i don't know if you can see but down here behind the seat i got my my blades you know down there however it may be uh i gotta take those to get them sharpened you know always keep blades in here behind the seat or however it may be and the fire extinguishers is, is behind there as well. Another thing I do like by me having this van, um, I have some properties where it's hard to maneuver the trailer through. Um, I'll have to double park or, I, you know, I have to park on, you know, another street just to be able to get to the property or, or however it may be. So basically what I'll do sometimes is I'll take, you know, uh, certain stuff off. Like I'll take, you know, my blowers off and stuff like that. And I'll put my 36 on the back. So I'll put my 36 on the back of here with my ramps and I run it up on here and put my uh, blowers on that side and keep everything sturdy that way if I'm at those hard to reach places or things of that nature, I can just, you know, put my 36 up in there and this is not how it may be. Okay, here's the next question. I know people are saying, man, you got all those tools up in there, it'd be hot. No, it don't. No, 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 it, 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 it doesn't be hot like that back there. You know, when you're running the tools and this and that. Now, when you got, you know, big boys, like the 48s, 60s and all of that stuff that stuff you know generates some heat but you know if i got the 36 on the back of here or i got a little push mower on the back of here with my string trimmers and and, and, and my pruning shears and stuff like that no it, it it doesn't it doesn't be you know hot and unbearable or or things of that nature um it's just it's just suitable uh we got ac in the van because you know ac is is a must in them summertimes. Um, not to say that we run them all the time, we because we we don't. We all have the windows down, and this and that, just to try to save up on that gas a little bit. But you know, instead of me, you know, talking, let me show you how this 36 can get up on the back of this van real quick, just for another alternative for you. You can just take the ramps, take your 36 up in there, and it'll fit up in there just as nice and perfect. Nice and perfect. 
put something back here to chop your wheels so it don't be rolling back and forth um you keep your blow on the side here or you can put it up front with the other one in the evenings come in lock everything up shut the doors go right on in the house And by that, let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, we done backed it in, put the trail on, I mean the uh, tarp on, so the weather won't get into it. You know, I know some of y'all be worrying about the gas cans and stuff like that. So, you can just go open up your doors and just set your gas cans right there. Something right there, get the other one. Yeah, and put them in. Yeah, for the night, you ain't got to worry about nobody coming in and getting your gas and stuff like that. Shut them up. Get your locks. Making sure all the locks is good. So we can lock our stuff up for the night. And for real, for real, you can do this at your uh, at the last job. You know, all this locking up and stuff like that. Last job, lock up, put everything on the inside, keep it moving. Yep. Yep, so you just sit that on there, like that. Boom. Lock it up. Boom. Ain't going nowhere. See, that can't get in there. Then you come, shut this door. Same thing for the back. Shut that up in there. Yeah, shut that up in there like that. Push it down, lock it, put it on out. It ain't going nowhere. All right. So everything, then you go back to your trailer. I put locks on the back of my trailer, you know, just in case I want to lock them up or something like that. I hope you can use this in your business to keep everything going, to keep everything afloat. And this is Raglan, coming from Next Generation Landscaping. Keep persevering by any means necessary and um i got some modifications that i'm gonna do to this soon so i'm gonna keep y'all abreast to what's going on uh with the van it works for me um i hope it can work for you all right don't forget to subscribe to the channel give it that big thumbs up leave a comment all feedback is good feedback all right until the next time see you